Hey there, either, hello there, everyone, and welcome to another reaction. This time I'm going to be reacting to The Dragon Prince, Season 5, Episode 3, Nightmares and Revelations. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. I'm going to guess from the title that Viren is going to hit the peak of his nightmares and come to our revelation. That or, as usual, with the show, it's going to have two meanings in the episode, where the crew is going to have their revelations and stuff, and then Viren's going to have his nightmares and revelations. Oh, look at you two flying together. Like the size, not even the size of her head, he's like the size of her front of her mouth. Or muzzle. Did it take me this long to notice that she has lightning-like patterns on her wings? I didn't notice that before. Unless they just added that, which I don't think so. Are you in the earth blood room? No, wait. Oh, hello, a bunch of you guys in different colors. Different dragon? Ooh. Non aerial dragons? Oh, oh, we're just getting in the whole gamut of dragons, aren't we? I'm, I'm gonna. Eee, I'm gonna love this episode already. <laughs> yes, give me all the dragons. Is this like a gathering they're doing? Are they holding a court? No, they don't feel like they would have more than just Zubaya there. Are you talking to them all? Two years ago, I sought your help to save Azimondius, the dragon oh. prince from a terrible- Oh, oh, this is where he went to go get help from the dragons. Okay, all right. That's a nice callback. Or actually, is that a callback? I guess it is a callback, but it's nice to see the place he went to, that it wasn't just some, like, you. I'm used to shows where stuff like that happens and then we never get to see like oh where did they go to get the help and that kind of thing it's just no it don't question it <laughs> so it's cool that they actually are taking us to where he went and they could be anywhere on this vast continent by now sick them dragons together we can stop them before it's too late now i don't know what speech ezrin gave them when he, he had them I want to know it's a different type of dragon too. It's got like a more of a shield kind of crest. Why does the music sound ominous? Is this a bad thing? Or is it more like hurrah? I can't tell. Okay, it is. I was like, what's with the ominous music? About to jump Ezrin? <laughs> Doubt they're going to do that with Zubaya there. I also have to say that I do like that um, it's Ezrin still giving a speech to convince them to help instead of it being like Zubaya putting, you know, using her her position to get them to help. It's, she lets Ezrin speak. So, I like that. Oh, so it's Janai that's gonna be having nightmares. You're just like your grandmother. We're gonna get to hear what he said. Would you like to know the truth of her fate before you face yours? I don't think so, because I'm not gonna hear her, because Janai didn't hear her, it was his sister. It's like he lit a match. It's like he lit a match under her uh, chin because you could hear the like the what do they call it the striking sound. Oh, wait, did she say her name? Kessa. Kessa. Kessa was that her name? Kessa. Thank you. What'd she say? I know the dreams will pass. I just. Need a distraction. Amaya leans in. I can be your distraction. <laughs> Choosing our favorite forks and napkins. Do people actually do that? I feel like they do. Yeah, they definitely do. No! Not the... Also, Terry has a nice humming voice. Let terrestrials guide you smoothly down the river of dreams. S you mean s smoothly down the river of dreams or smooth words? Because <laughs> Terry's very smooth. <laughs> oh, snort. Like I said, smooth. To save my son. 
You'll do anything for her, Soren, huh? Do anything. Uh, that's not gonna do anything. That's dark magic, right? Not star touch. That's all that matters. A little creepy, but okay. So he gains him back, but he loses him another way. No. Wait. Wait, so was it worth it? I had no choice. Oh, hello. Was that him when he was younger? Amaya would have come to meet you personally, but she's a little busy. I'll take you to her. With wedding plans. So, humans and elves together in one camp. How's that going? <laughs> Peaceful utopia? <laughs> well, mm. no. <laughs> I thought he was going to say it for the most part. And yes, things haven't been easy, but I think the dust is settled. Hopefully. Mostly. And I'm sure you've heard the news. I'm going to guess from the lack of reaction, no. It's probably best if Amaya tells you herself. I mean, you could at least placate their fears and just say it's not bad news. Like... Uh, come on. Now they're gonna be freaking anxious. Okay. Sunset violets or crimson orchids? Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna look. These look like these look like uh, butterflies almost. These are pretty, but mm. I feel like these are. Pr I like the color pal palette of them, but they also kind of blend in with like at least the background here a little too much. Whereas these pop more? Mm, that's a toughie. Uh, um, can't you go with both? I know you can't. Um, I guess I would go with the ones on the right. She can't decide with these either, can she? Uh, I, I can't choose. Okay. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Hey, Tamaya! What's the big news? What happened? Is everything okay? <laughs> I would have been like, well, I thought you told him my crow. <laughs> Is someone getting married? I love how Rayla immediately knows just from the flowers. Surprise. <laughs> what? <laughs> it just tosses <laughs> the staff. But I'm glad we got to tell you in person. Is this gonna put the, the is this gonna put the idea into their head into Rayla and Callum's head? I mean, I I think they're too young, but I just I wonder if it's going to like do that. Uh, the world might actually be ending. Surprise! surprise. Don't you like our surprise? Daddy. It's like Daddy. blood. <laughs> oh, we're gonna say Claudia. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Don't follow in his footsteps, little Claudia. Claudia. It's actually weird to see her without the white mark. Oh, well, that didn't last long. So that's when Rexignia. Yes, look what you've done, Viren. Steer her off of your footsteps. Said that he has the knowledge, but doesn't know it. And I was like, what? But Please don't tell me we're letting Callum explain this whole thing. How would you tell it? <sighs> she's gonna do a really like hurt layer, like str like she said to the point. Viren's alive, and he and Claudia are trying to release the most dangerous being in all of Zadia, a Star Touch elf called Aravos. Yeah, that sums it up pretty well. I mean, it was a good summary, sure. Wait. As queen of the Sunfire Elves, I forbid you. Huh? I mean, I got, I understand where she's coming from, but at the same time, if it's the end of the world kind of stuff, what's the point of... This isn't something you can ignore. It's like eventually world ending stuff, so you're going to be affected at some point. Oh, it's the brother. Who are you gonna come across? You know, are you gonna come across what's her name? The uh, the uh, air was it the air 
uh, Alf. I forget what it was. Uh, Sky Elf, the one that has the wings. Is it Nyx? What would you have me do? Where would you have me go? I feel like I've heard those, that those lines before from some another movie or show. Please, give me something. A sign. Show me that not all is lost. Show me I'm on the right path or not on the right path. That doesn't look very helpful. Do you want us to just sit here and help you pick out flowers until an angry star touch elf knocks on your door? I love how everyone's like, <laughs> leave it to Rayla to not care. Uh, uh, Queen Janai. Uh, what Rayla means is- I'm on Rayla's side. Go, go girl. We don't have a it's the only lead we've got. Oh, that's why. Okay, I, I forgot the brookeries at the freaking uh, at their place. My decision stands. I, I mean, I'm sorry you had to kill your own people, but at the same time, so what? You're just gonna let this evil get released, and then you're all gonna die anyway? Like, just let Callum and Rayla go then. What are you gonna do, Viren? Are the petals falling a sign of her losing innocence? Purity? That's a big wave. No, they turn back. Don't go my path. Take a different path. Terry, Waterfall. Hold on tight. Rib is getting wild up. That usually means a waterfall. A few days ago, I was pacing and doing nothing in a castle. Now, I'm pacing and doing nothing in a tent. If anything, that's worse. <laughs> it's a downgrade. I mean, we fought together at the Stormspire. She saw me zap dark magic moths. Rayla in the background. <laughs> she can't stop us. Nobody can. So we're... You two. You two. You two are... Gonna, okay. You two are not going to listen and you're just going to go ahead. We're going to Luxoria, right? Two, right we are. True, right? We are. I love, love Rayla. Aren't there gonna be guards though? Maya knew. Oh, hey, Aunt Maya. Uh, She's gonna go with them. I thought you'd be sneaking out into danger against the direct orders of the queen. Us doing that? No. Callum, you're a terrible liar. Mm. I know you're going to Luxaria, and I'm coming with you. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I'll say Maya doesn't agree with this. Just sit on your hands. Oh, Janai's not going to be happy about that, though. No. It I was going to ask, is this the same river that, like, Callum, Rayla, and Ezrin fell down? But this is in the this is in the Earthblood elf territory, so I don't think so. Because I'm pretty sure they were in a different part of Zadia. You're about to get very wet, Viren. It's gonna be a immersive experience. Please. The wave should have already reached her. Oh. <laughs> no. He just dunked. I'm sure he'll be fine. I may be queen, but even I don't have the power to stop those two once they've set their mind to something. Okay, so she knows. But the worst of it all. This means our wedding will have to wait. That's okay, it's always another time. Might isn't die, right? <laughs> now my sister wants to send an assassin to finish me? I am no assassin. I am a follower of yours. I believe in your cause. Watch, I bet you that's the case. That was lost my water. You are our only hope, Prince Karim of Luxaria. Lead us back to glory. Oh god, you're gonna have a freaking inside thing. Oh god. How many are there? Is it gonna be just how many uh god He's going for Claudia, she's going for him. I'll do anything for our family, Dad. Just like him. 
Whatever it takes. Oh, now her head's all white. However vile. Just like what he said. Oh yeah. You need to wake up. He's not breathing. Don't die, Dad. You can't die again. Again. I borrowed this two years ago. They're terribly overdue. I don't think the people that used to care care anymore. If they're even still around. Halt. Uh, I can explain. It's not what it looks like. Callum, once again, you are a, you are a horrible liar. Don't worry. She knows. We talked about it. I see your aunt spirit in you. I love how she just did that to scare Callum. I brought you something. Oh, the sword. To keep you safe from Luxalia. If I cannot go with you, let me be by your side in spirit. Uh-uh. The flower. <gasps> she picked the red one. Crimson orchids. I finally chose. <laughs> I do like the overall look of the orchids. It's just I was going off color. That's not how you get the water out of someone. You gotta do chest you compressions. To come back. Uh, there you go. Chest hits. More. Every step forward is a choice. Mm -hmm. I am free. And so are you. He's not wrong. You can't change the steps you took behind you, but you can change the steps you take going forward. Hand holding. It's a cure. Yes, cough up that dark magic. You're alive. Even Terry cries. <laughs> he purrs. Have they been spotted? No, so you got interesting seeing young Viren. Actually, yeah, you see quite a bit more of Soren and him when you see young Viren. Young Claudia on a unicorn. That's kind of twisted considering what I think she does to a unicorn later on. The orchid. Really? Terry on the gondola? Wait, that's Terry, right? Pretty sure that is. But really, Terry gondola? Actually, looks good. What is that little bit of purple smoke, whatever, on his neck? Is that corruption? Is that from Erevos, or is that like that, like that banther that also had the corruption stuff? So now we're seeing it from. We're seeing older Baron. And now we're seeing. Huh. And that's the mirror um, that had Erebos in it. Alright, well, let me go ahead and get into my thoughts. Alright, well, that was definitely. The nightmares were definitely from Varen's side. Um, I guess you could say sort of Claudia, because she almost lost him. Um, but definitely mainly Varen. And then the revelations. I would say, because we had we had three different perspectives here. You had you had Callum and Rayla with Janai and Amaya. You had the prince or Janai's brother with what he was going through, and then you had Claudia and Terry, and then you had Viren on. So actually, you had like what four or five? Jeez. Um, so I wonder. I definitely think the revelation came from Viren, though, with the, you know, with him saying, oh, your fate's already been chosen, but then young Viren saying, no, you know, pretty much the steps you take from here on out are your choice at the end of the day, still. So, I think that was a revelation he encountered, so yay, Viren on the correct, going on the correct path, so now he's gotta, he's gotta save Claudia from going down his path. Um, because I feel like She's going down it a lot earlier than he did. So getting her to change or the corruption may affect her a lot more. Um, especially with like 
Erebos seems interested in using as a pawn, so that definitely would be a good combination. Um, but yeah, um, I actually enjoyed this episode quite a bit. Like I was invested in, okay, the prince, uh, Janai's brother, I'm the least interested in. He can go, you know, he could disappear off from this and I wouldn't care. <laughs> but now obviously he's going to be a problem because now if he finds out that he's got a follower and possibly multiple followers of him, of his, Huh, so I got to deal with him. So I wonder, is he going to be a combined threat with Erevos? Or is he going to be, like, a threat before Erevos? Um, like, is he going to, like, get an army of his own to go up against? Like, geez, you really are. Why do I feel like he's going to end up destroying um, Luxaria? But, like, he he's so determined to do the old ways. He's going to end up, like, kind of destroying the rest of Luxaria. By doing what he wants to do? I don't know. Uh, but, yeah. Um, overall, the plot for the episode, uh, I would say great. Characters, great. Of course, Callum and Rayla being the, the, the shining stars. I love those two. Um, uh, animation was good. Uh, music was... I didn't really notice too much. <laughs> yeah, I always say this in, in my thoughts for this show. Like, Unless they have like, a unique piece, I'll just keep saying that music was good. Because <laughs> if not... Like the music, I, I, I it's, it's like not, it's not like the music from Vox Machina, you know, Legend of Vox Machina, where it's like you get really memorable tracks, where it's just whether it's Scanlan singing or it's you get like big choir, like epic soundtracks, or even like I don't know, like unique soundtracks. A lot of Dragon Princes I've noticed are typically samey, nothing really different. Which um, I wish there was more variation uh, or. Is that the correct word? Variation? Variety? I think variation is the correct word. Um, and I wish there was more music that stood out. Like, I think the music I remember the most is, like, during the big battle, I believe. Um, and then, like, I think... Uh, was it... Was it when... I think it was the episode when uh, Rayla was taking Azrin and Callum to her village. Like, I think... It was the dancing music they had. Like, I remember that being pretty and memorable. Um, stuff like that. Um, yeah, overall, the show's music is just, like, good. It, like, sets the tone of, like, the show, but nothing, like, stands out a bunch. Uh, at least not, most of it doesn't stand out, but anyway, you get the idea. So, um, yeah, uh, those are my thoughts for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, night, and keep bright. See ya!